Hello everybody and welcome to Honey Bunny Games. My name is Twisted and today we are back in one hour, one life. And we are on the login screen for the what I think is the first time ever. Because there is a new update. It adds, it doesn't add any new items into the game. But it does add some very, very, very important things. First things first, it adds tutorial. It also adds a filter. I'm gonna show those features to you guys. I haven't actually played it yet. I think when I press login for the first time ever in the new update, I'm gonna get the tutorial automatically. So let's actually give that a go. Waiting to be born. So this should spawn me in as an Eve, I think. Unless I'm completely mistaken. There we go. You have not been born into the game yet. This is tutorial. Click the left mouse button to watch. I think this is actually really important because there is a lot of people that don't actually know what's going on in the game. The tutorial is amazing. There's also a new filter feature. We're gonna check that out very, very soon. I don't think our food depletes over here at all. Oh, and never mind, it totally does. All right, click the left mouse button to walk. What is this thing over here? Tutorial stone. Hi, tutorial stone. This is what teaches us how to play the game. Let's just go around here. Navigation is automatic, even around complex obstacles. Open the door, click the berry bush to walk there and pick a berry. So I guess these just like give me the message when I'm close to them. They look like a mini monolith, kind of cool. So if we just press over here, the case is gonna go walk all the way around to the labyrinth. All the way there. Very nifty. I'm getting quite hungry. Pick a berry. Starvation means certain death. Click yourself to eat. Pick and eat more berries until you are full. Nice. I don't seem to be getting... Okay, never mind. I do get the mech thing over here. Let's actually eat until we're full and let's just grab a berry for later. Actually, since we're the only person here, might as well like, go all the way up, right? Click and hold near the edge of the screen to keep walking in that direction. Useful for long journeys. Okay, I, I know that. I know that. It's very simple. Okay, more berries, of course. Click the branch to pick it up. Click the rock up ahead. Try using the branch on the rock. That doesn't do anything, though, right? No, nothing happens. The tab key pages through ideas. A branch isn't on the list of things that work on a rock. There we go. So we have a stone plus a shovel. We know that. Simple. Very simple. Empty ground tile to drop the branch. And we can just grab this thing over here. Again, I think it's actually super important. Because... If you've played the game before, you might think, oh, this is really easy, like, things are obvious, normal. But if you were a new player that hasn't played the game before, this game is incredibly hard to get into. If you don't know what you're doing, if someone else doesn't show you the ropes, if you haven't, like, seen any videos, if you're just going into it blind, this game is almost impossible to learn on your own without uh, other people's help. Once you know how it works, it all makes sense, but if you're a new player, it's, it does not make any sense. Make a sharp stone, take it with you. Okay, so now we know that we can take this, make a sh I mean, we know that from before. Take it with you. I could just cut this down as well. Hope, I mean, hope they didn't throw in my game now. <laughs> okay, control tab for bigger page jump, shift tab. I didn't, again, I didn't know about control tab at all. The control tab moves five items at a time. I didn't know that. And I knew about shift tab going back, but not about control tab. Good to know. Very nifty. Probably getting pretty hungry at this point. Well, not really. Maybe harder to eat than the berries. So we can actually now like look what's going on. Burdock needs to, needs a sharp stone on a shovel. Same thing with the wild carrot. Just get these opened up. There we go. Eat one of these. Take the other one. Good to know. Again, it doesn't seem to teach you the fact that you actually waste food, which I think it, it again it may seem obvious, but if you're a new player, you might actually not realize that food is super super important in this game. A chain of unique foods, increase the variety bonus multiplier above your food meter. Eating a mech food breaks the chain. Awesome, so that's teach you about this. Actually, very, very nice. So, you could eat this, that's yum. There we go, it gives a, a variety bonus multiplier. I still don't think that this is, I hope like it, the next step explains it a bit better. Because it still doesn't really explain what this does. So I did like, see a lot of uh, confused people saying, oh, it doesn't really matter if you have like a plus 15 meter, because if you have a plus 20 bonus, because your food bar is not 20 bars. Well, that's not how it works. Like, it's actually just extra food, you know? It's like, it's like magically adding extra squares over here. It's actually adding squares over onto your or bar. The thing is, those squares are not shown over here. They are shown over here with a plus sign. So if I eat the wild onion, I'm gonna get three extra squares. Just imagine that this three means there's three extra squares over here. They're gonna deplete one by one, which means this number is gonna go down as time goes on. And only then will our main food bar go down. That's why the food multiplier is so good, because you could have so much food. It just makes an incredible difference. This is gonna be meh, right? Yeah, because I already ate it. Make a basket. Right click the basket to put the sharp stone inside. Take the basket with you. Easy peasy. Again, I bet it's possible to fail the tutorial, but then you just starve and die and you start over, I guess. Which makes a lot of sense. There we go. Put the sharp stone inside. 
And let's uh, take the food with us again. I don't want to eat it because it's going to be meh. But it might come in handy. Drop the basket. I think it moved so on. Put some food in the basket take it with you. Okay, okay. Again, all of these are meh, right? So, might as well, again, might as well take a variety of foods. There we go. Easy. You burn food slower when your temperature meter is in the middle. Yeah, you can see that it's over here. It's moving here. So the closer we get to the fire, the closer it's gonna get to the middle. Very nice. Stand by the fire to warm up. Too cold or too hot speeds up hunger. Very important. Again, I feel like a lot of people don't actually know that. And also, if you like, this probably, again, it's gonna get fixed at one point, I think, because this doesn't sound intended. But as long as you don't stop moving, your temperature doesn't change. So even though, it, it, like, if I stop right now, temperature's gonna go down, because I'm no longer next to the fire. But what I'm gonna do is gonna go stand next to the fire, and as long as I keep on running, without actually stopping, as soon as I stop, it's gonna just reset. So, don't stop, is, is the name of the game. Oh, we have a nice house! Walls and floors hold heat in a larger area. Again, a lot of another thing that a lot of people don't actually know. Close the door from to stop the heat from leaking out. There we go. So it does actually like expand the thing. It doesn't work as well as it used to, I think. Because it did change something at one point. You can see that it's actually like super crazy hot in here next to the fire. Which I don't think it should be super crazy hot next to the fire. But I think it's a little bit too wild. Like over here next to the fire, we are just boiling. In the other edge of the room, we are actually like cold. Which I don't think makes much sense. I think it should propagate a bit differently, honestly. But it, again, they, 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 did, they did change the, temper, the way temperature works at one point. It used to be... It used to make more sense, I think. But then one update changed it, which also introduced the bug where you can run. Again, I could be wrong about this, but that's how I remember it. It has been like a few months now. Close the door. Yeah, just leave the door open. Actually, I just want to check something. If I am not in a building, I close the door. Oh, it actually does uh, stop the heat. Interesting. Good to know. It's gonna reset our yum meter, so might as well reset it with like a food that we don't carry with us. There we go. Oh, it's it's snow. Cold areas dramatically increase your hunger rate. While holding clothes, click yourself to put them on. Yeah, boy. Beautiful. I still oh wait, there's boots over here, right? Lovely. Have yeah, a full set. Awesome. Yeah, that but radically reduces our hunger. So we're gonna be like in in here we're gonna be reasonably warm. Next to the fire. It's gonna be super hot, right? I'll test that out. Yeah, so we're on the fire. Still super crazy hot because we are with our clothing. But I think, like, yeah, it's really good. So it actually doesn't change over here. Huh. So clothing might work differently than I thought because it doesn't seem to be changing. I'm gonna just eat. I honestly, just eat. Fill up with berries for now. Let's keep the, these foods for the food bonus later on. There we go. Do we have some, have some gold? We can, we can try mining this, but we don't have a mining pick. So can't do anything with that. But that's actually kind of like cool. It, it shows the players what you can actually find in the game later on. And something to keep in mind. Good. Uh, this is a good tutorial, I feel. Also, I wonder if I could just like run away. If... Honestly, like... If I could... I, I wonder if there's like it's possible to just run away. Like, but nobody would just die of old age, right? Before these things collapse. But... I guess it just starts a new map every single time, so it doesn't really matter. Ooh, desert. But this is gonna, like, heat us up. Warm clothes can all overheating the air, strip back down to cool off, click warm clothing to remove it. Well, I could do that, or I could use the running glitch and just go through here without any problems. Makes more sense. And I think that's, I think that's a lot better to just do the running glitch, to, like, keep the temperature normal, than just stand in the desert, take your clothes off. Again, if you have your base in the desert, it's okay to be naked. But the important thing is always pay attention to your heat meter. Like, if you are... Like, let me just show you. If you go over here with full clothing, look at the rate our food's gonna start going down. It's gonna be actually kind of crazy. It's gonna... It doesn't seem that bad. I think it also might be a bit different for the tutorial, because it does seem to be fairly slow over here. I don't think the temperature actually affects our food rate. In oh, never mind, it does. Look, 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 look. It's so fast. See? It just keeps going down like crazy. I think we have a bit of a cool before I mean, the first one disappeared, but then just like crazy, crazy down. Again, if you stand over here, it's gonna be fairly, fairly normal as soon as we like... Yeah, now it's normal. So it does make a massive difference. Let's eat all these yummy foods. Nice. I'll keep this over here for now. No hurry. Oh, what did we say here? Enter to type, press enter again to speak. You can say longer and longer phrases as you get older and older. My name is Twisted. Eve Twist. Nice, I like it. What's this? Enter speak again. Up arrow, press down. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, it also says enter over here. That's, I, th I think that's new. I don't think that was there before. My name is Twisted. I can just keep saying that. I didn't know that, actually. 
Interesting. So if I say uh, banana, I could just cycle through those. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that's awesome. I had no idea that was a thing. It makes sense, but I didn't know. Say, I am Jones, say your last name is Eve. Say, you are Sally, said the first name of your hell baby. I'm gonna get a baby now. I mean, I'm twisted, so... But again, very important. Say, hatchet. This, so this is the cool new thing. This is amazing. So if you, like, press the, uh, the slash, you can type in any item. You can type in, for example, let's think of something complicated. Let's type in gold ingot. So now, it's gonna say making gold ingot, it's gonna give us hints what we need to make. And when we mouse over an item, it's gonna filter only to things that are actually relevant to us. You could be able to filter by doing the same thing again. If you wanna make, for example, a burdock. Sharp stone plus burdock equals like burdock. So it only, like, it only shows items that are actually relevant. Which is awesome, because sharp stone has 43 interactions. This way you can type in, okay, I wanna make a... Furnace, right? So these are all... 43 are relevant. Doesn't sound right. Maybe, maybe Sharpstone isn't used for a furnace at all. Maybe there's no item that's actually called a furnace. What if we type in... Steel pickaxe. Yeah, okay. Non-relevant. Okay, yeah. So it doesn't actually give us any relevant things. That's good to know. So there's no relevant items on the Sharpstone over here. If you want to make a basket... Again, very simple. Sharp stone plus two reeds equals harvested tool. Interesting, it doesn't actually give us the hint for... Because uh, you can make baskets... Baskets from... Uh, from wheat as well. It doesn't actually show you the hint that you can use this to harvest... Wheat. Maybe because there's no wheat in the game in this world. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but it, it could be just misinterpreting something. That's very much possible. Alright, say... Uh, yes, back to full unfiltered tab list. Good to know. Final challenge! Make a hatchet to chop kindling, get the fire going again, light the torch. Make a hatchet to chop kindling, get the fire going again, light the torch. So, let's take a- oh, there's a torch! It says torch. <gasps> Snakes! Oh no! No, close, close the door. Close the door! What, what have I done? Don't do that. Why are there crazy snakes over there? I don't like that. That's, that's kind of creepy. Make a hatch to chop kindling. Okay, that sounds easy enough. Uh, do we have? We have a lot of stones. So let's actually do that. Let's filter in hatchet. Because that way we're going to only see items as relevant. So we can look at the fire. Kindling plus hot coals equals fire. If we I remove the filter, it still has the same thing. We can just do this, right? Yeah. Again, sharp stone. Non-relevant. Just take this. Yeah, milkweed stock plus milkweed stock equals thread. There we go. Thread plus thread equals rope. This filters out that thing. Because if I remove the filter, it's gonna say, okay, there's six things you can make with thread. This is actually amazing. So whenever you're making something, if someone, if you're a new player, if you don't know how the game works, if someone tells you, hey, you should help us make some compost, just type in, okay, okay, let's type in compost. And it's gonna give you the thing. Does that work? What if I type in banana? Making banana. So it actually supports even wrong words, even though there's no bananas in the game. If you type in this, non relevant, huh? So what I could see being a problem is you could type in, you could like misspell something. You could type in like compost and think, oh, I'm making compost, but that's not how compost is actually spelled. Interesting. So let's uh, go back to making a hatchet. What about kindling? Making kindling. Sharp stone. So these are sharp stone plus. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. So we have all kindling, level and kindling items. Like a long straight shaft. Okay, steel axe, stone hatchet. There we go. So let's actually go back to the hatchet recipe. I know how to make a hatchet, by the way, but this does make my life easier. So I could probably like make a mistake here, is my guess, right? Because there's a lot of milkweed, though, so it's kind of unlikely. But uh, there we go. So milkweed stock. Just, just make items that are in the filter, you know? Rope plus short staff shaft equals tied short shaft. Oh god, I need some food. No, I'm getting really hungry all of a sudden. Let's eat some berries. I'm gonna break our food chain. That's okay. It does not matter. Bowl of water plus adobe wall. Yeah, non-relevant for this one. That's actually good. Again, non-relevant over here as well. What's going on? Don't tell me that it's connected. 
No, game one. What the hell? Okay, it, it it worked. I don't know what happened there. Might be some internet issues going on. All right, let's get back to our hatchet. So what do we need to do? We need to get a rope plus short shaft. The thing is, we don't know how to make a short shaft, but you can guess. Okay, you get a short shaft from here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The sharp stone plus long straight shaft equals short shaft. Lovely. Stone plus big card stone equals sharp stone. Same recipe over here. I love that. Can we do this? We cannot. Good. Also, I think these are like infinite codes because they never seem to run out. It's kind of cool. Uh, tied short shaft. I have to do it like this. I wish I could like cycle recipes the other way as well. That would be great. Uh, sharp stone plus tied short shaft equals stone hatchet. Again, we have to like do it like this. Awesome. Now we know. Again, we're not making hatchet any anymore. Gotta make kindling. Kindling. Stone hatchet. Plus, we have like basically any type of wood can be used to make kindling. So let's just make kindling from this thing. Lovely. Gotta get a fire. Let's see how what we need for a fire. Making fire. Stone hatchet for kindling. Kindling plus burning tinder equals fire. Okay, how do we get fire from coals though? Kindling plus hot coals equals fire. See, like I actually... I might be, I might be like a, a, a dummy, but I didn't actually know that you could use hot coals to make a fire. I thought like once you got hot coals, you couldn't get a fire back. But I don't know why I thought that. Like maybe it was like that at one point, but I don't think it was. I think I just never noticed that you could just toss on kindling over here. Right? So how do we light the torch? That's actually kind of a, a quite good question. Firebrand. Okay, we need to get a firebrand going. Okay, so how do we get a firebrand? Again, I know how to make a firebrand. Firebrand. Plus file tutorial torch. Okay, that's not very helpful. So this, I this I think is not very helpful. But if you look at this, you can see. Okay, to make a fire band, you need to get obviously in the kindling for a fire. You need a, a long straight shaft as well. So let's just make one of those. That's the wrong thing. Twisted. Wrong item. Here we go. Sharpen this bad boy. Let's get a making fire bands. Oh, I'm getting so hungry. No, twisted. Eat some food, please. There we go. I think this is an amazing change. Like, tutorial, excellent. Filter system, excellent. Amazing update. It doesn't add, like, any new content to the game, but I think this is extremely necessary uh, for the health of the game and for the sake of new players, more or less. Because the, pl the game needs new players to survive. It's That's always the case. Uh, so, oh, it's, it's out. The fire is out. That's okay. So, we're still making a firebrand. So, it doesn't actually, like, over here, it doesn't actually show us... Like, it does show us the, the items, because all of these are relevant. So we need kindling, I guess we need an ember shaft as well to make a fire. So these are all, like, relevant, because they all take part in the recipe at one point. Like, the short shaft. You need a short shaft to make a hatch, to make kindling, to make fire. Although, it, like, you have to still think. It just helps you out removing, like, completely useless recipes. Which is lovely. If I want to make, like, an adzy. Yeah, it gives me everything that I need for here. So I, I basically know what needs to be done. I need a wooden tongue, need a fire brand. Make a fire, obviously. A lot of fire burn recipes over here. Still adds the head. Still adds the long straight shaft. Still adds the head. We, we know that. Now we know that. Yeah. Awesome. What was our last filter? Firebrand. Right. So let's get a fire going again. Over here. And that's going to be it, I think, right? I'm going to fire. Get the torch going. It's a little bit weird. Oh, with a little bit of wrestling provided for your convenience. It's a little bit weird that, that you have to actually light a tutorial torch. Because there's no such item as a torch in the game. I think that's a little bit weird and it might confuse some people. Because they're going to be expecting, okay, I, the tutorial told me to make a torch. We have a torch. How do we actually make a torch in the game? But the torch is not a real item. So this item does not exist in the game. The, there is no such thing as torch. Because there's no such thing as nighttime in the game. So, you never actually need torches, I guess. So, I, I, th that's a little bit weird. Again, if they add torches to the game, that would make more sense. Like, maybe if we were supposed to light something else, I don't know. But I might be just overtaking it. But I do feel like maybe some people are gonna be thinking, Okay, the Toril taught me we need to make a torch. We need to light a torch. We... I gotta try to focus all my entire life to just make a torch. Because that's what the Toril taught me. That's kind of just my train of thought. I could be completely wrong about that. But, again, I'm no game designer, I'm just a person who talks over video games on the internet. So, don't trust me, always. Trust me sometimes, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Alright, let's go kill ourselves, so when we respawn, we're gonna die for real. 
That's gonna be kind of sad. Can we just run away from here? There's no not enough materials for us to make a a mining pick to break out of the out of here. We could just get a damp adobe wall. But there's again no water, so that doesn't help us at all. Uh yeah, I, I do want to explore the map. Like maybe there's a way to just hack this map somehow. Get out of it to see what's around here. Because I would love to do that. If you guys have any ideas how we could break out of this tutorial map, let me know. Because I do want to give it a go. Maybe there's some kind of weird secret going on here. God, so many snakes. I I'm gonna just start bleeding out when I hit the snakes, right? Yeah, oh no! I'm gonna die! What have I done? The game also doesn't teach you. One important thing, if you're standing on an item, I can't really show it to you because snakes are like in here now, but as long as you're standing on an item, no enemies can actually... No, uh, Animals can actually attack you. Humans, other players can still hurt you with weapons. But if you're standing on an item, other animals cannot interact with you. And you're safe. It doesn't have to be like... It could be anything. It could be like literally... If there's literally anything on the floor, they can't get to you. It could be a single berry. It could be a, uh, a tutorial torch. You can't actually stand on that. It could be like a stone. It could be a hatchet. It could be a piece of milkweed. If, as long as you're standing on something... No one can hurt you. No animals can hurt you. So that's always safe. If, if you see a bear, if a bear attacks your village, stand on something. You'll be safe. The bear will run over you, but he will never do damage to you. Important thing to keep in mind. But yeah, I'm gonna actually just be ending this tutorial video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I think this update is amazing. Again, doesn't add any new content, but it adds something, in my opinion, that's even better than actual items that we could use. Because this is... It's, it's good. It's amazing. I love it. But yeah, I'm gonna actually just end this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. My name has been Twisted from Honey Many Games. Now we'll see you next time.